Hi, this is John with Fix It Planet. Today we got another pair of uh, B0501 Studio Wireless. And uh, these aren't charging. I just did a video on this uh, not long ago. I'm going to plug it in here. Confirm that it doesn't have any light. And it's a bit loose. So we're going to take a look at the charging port. Now in the previous video, most of what you're going to see here is, is almost identical. With a few slight variations to the actual repair. So in this case, we're not actually going to swap a board out or anything. We're going to just fix the charging port. And you take your five screws out and that will release the, the little ear speaker. And then we'll remove our tape off of these wires and the little rubber piece over the charging dock. And these two screws again as I mentioned before are different than the other screws so keep those separate. We're just going to take the speaker out to give us a little more wiggle room. Now I'm going to bring these up as close as I can and um, I'm going to try to point out that uh, none of the pins are actually soldered anymore but the far left pin right there actually has a torn trace. So we're going to re-solder the four pins that are still intact and we're going to bridge the broken trace. Now I don't know if you can see that but they are wiggling. Now here's a close-up view. You can clearly see those pins are not soldered down anymore. It doesn't look like they ever even had solder on the tops of them and that left side is got a broken trace so in this case we don't really need any jumper wire we're just gonna bridge the trace because it's all still pretty much intact it's just broken so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these wires off of here so we can get this board free put a little flux on there Now we can set the headset out of our way, flip the board over. And then we'll uh, take a closer look again at a little bit different angle. You can see on the far left there that broken trace. And again, there's no solder on the tops of those pins, which means that's how it came out of the factory. Not a good job. Different angle. That's the trace we're going to focus on. We're going to scrape free uh, the masking, expose a little bit of that trace there, and um, we're going to bridge it with some solder. Now we've re-soldered all four pins that are still intact. As you can see, they do have solder on top of them now, so they're, they're, uh, they have a much better solder joint than they probably did coming out of the factory. And now our, there's our bridge that we've uh, made with some fresh solder, nice and clean, and that's going to take care of our problem. And that will hold real well, so now we're going to go ahead and put our wires back and give it a test. if we can ever get a hold of the wire. So for this repair you do need a, a soldering iron. 
maybe some solder, and a little bit of flux. In this particular case, I did need just a little bit more solder on the green wire. I'll come and add that here in just a minute. So I wasn't happy with that solder joint. Didn't really have enough solder on it. So bumping the camera, we're gonna add a little solder to that pad and then we're gonna reattach the green wire again. This time it'll have plenty of solder on it and a good, a good bond. And we'll just tug the wires a little bit, make sure everything is good and strong and clean that excess flux off with some alcohol. So I don't have any gloves on if you're working with flux and solder and things like that that may have lead in them. You certainly do not want to ingest that. So be sure and wash your hands thoroughly when you're finished. And there's the board with the uh, bridged the bridged trace. We've plugged it in and as you can see it is charging now. So no need to swap out the board, no need to uh, do any of that. Power's on. Power's off. Charges. We're good to go. So all we have to do now is put everything back together. So this repair was from start to finish, so if you haven't seen any of the other videos, that's kind of how I like to do them, if possible. Some of this stuff is fairly redundant, especially when these videos are similar. You'll see some of the same things we do over and over. But if, you know, if you've never done it before, it can be helpful sometimes to see the whole process. So we put everything back, make sure it lines up, make sure no wires are getting pinched, and put our five screws back in. So again, we just want to make sure that the ear, the ear cushion uh, lines up with the posts in these little holes here. They go over these posts that stick up from here and over here. And just make sure you press them down really good. And that's pretty much it. We're just going to plug them in and get them charging for the customer so they'll be fully charged when they come to pick them up. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you. See you again next time. Bye-bye now.